For the time is now coming, and has come, when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers, false teachers, to suit their own passions, their own desires. They will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. How can you discern without scripture? You filter everything through scripture. Do not, fil do not filter scripture through teachings. Filter teachings through scripture. If your preacher sounds like a motivational speaker, like I say all the time, if your preacher is only telling you things you want to hear, if your preacher stays away from controversial things or when they talk about controversial things, they side with culture and not scripture. Do not let your ears be tickled. That means telling you what you want to hear. People will not endure sound doctrine. And the problem is there's so many false things. There's works-based gospel. There's universalism. There's prosperity preaching. There's, um, there's the... Not, deliverance is, I feel like, something that's biblical, but the deliverance ministries nine times out of ten are not biblical. There's so many false teachers. And um, it's just like, just be careful. I'm like, the more people I see sharing stuff, the more videos I see, I'm noticing there's more false teachers than biblical teachers. And it's so easy to be swayed by these people taking content, taking passages out of context, twisting scripture, especially if you don't know scripture. Just be careful. This is Second Peter chapter two, verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words with e of emptiness, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through lewdness, the ones who actually have escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whom a person is overcome, by him also he is brought into bondage. First Timothy 4, now the Spirit is expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refu and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Second Corinthians eleven thirteen through fifteen, for such are false prophets, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. Listen, it doesn't matter if your pastor, it is a good thing to feed the poor. But if your pastor preaches false doctrine and feeds the poor, that doesn't make him not a false, him not a false teacher. A good counterfeit always will look like the real thing. It doesn't matter if they do everything right, but they have one issue that compromises the gospel, one issue that's leading people astray, one issue that's keeping people from Christ. Then they're a false teacher if they're teaching false doctrine. At the end of the day, they have to sprinkle truth in with a lie. There's no good lie that doesn't contain truth. Remember that. We should not judge 
our Christian brothers and sisters as harshly. Yes, we need to judge each other in righteousness, but not as harshly as we need to judge teachers. Teachers will be judged way more harshly. It says that in the book of James. Because they can lead people astray. Do not be under a false teacher. Do not listen to false teachers. Do not support false teachers. And there's only one way to know if there's a false teacher, and that's through the word of God.